Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to look at how you can save yourself some time by using the custom views feature in the file browser. Let's dig in. Okay, so I'm going to open up my file explorer, the yellow folder in the taskbar. And I'm going to go over here to my Brian Sensei folder. And I'm going to go into my images here. And so let's say you have a folder with lots of files in it. One of the things you can do is search for your file by file name. But what if you don't remember the file name or like me, you have all these images that were imported from another device and they have random names on them. Modifying the file explorer view can help you quickly find files. So for example, I can come up here to my view and I could say, show me extra large icons. This is great for images. This allows me now to scroll through and find the specific image I'm looking for because I can see them more clearly. And you'll see in here, you have large icons. We have medium icons and then we have small icons, which is essentially a list view. So that's the next one, which is our list view, which basically lists out the file name in a series of columns. Then we can come down here to details. Details is nice because it shows you not only the file name, but it shows you the date that it was last modified the file type and the file size. And this is nice because you can also sort and filter this view. Now, by default, these are listed by file name in, in alphabetical order. But let's say I wanted to list these by date. If I click on date, it's going to sort it from newest to oldest. If I click it again, we're looking at oldest to newest. Then we've got our file type. Again, we can sort this, but we can also filter it if we have multiple file types in the list. And of course, we can sort by file size as well. Largest to smallest, smallest to largest. All right, let's take a look at some other views here. Uh, this view is called tiles. And so this will show a small thumbnail. It will show us the file name, the file type, and the file size. And then we have the content view. This is going to show us a, a small icon, the file name, the file type, and dimensions. Since this is an image, we can see the pixel dimensions here, the date taken, and then the size. Okay, and the last view here is compact. Now this actually will impact the quick links at the left. So you notice our quick links on the left here are now in a compact view. And we can go back in and click compact view again to go back to the normal view. Now, let's look at the show options. So. Right now we're showing the navigation pane. That's the quick links at the left. We could also show a details pane. And so when I click on a file in the list, I'm gonna get all these details around this specific file. Look at all that information. Isn't that fantastic? Now we could also go back into here and show what's called a preview pane. This is also nice for images because when we select a file here at the left in the list, we're going to see a preview of that image. Let's go back to show and we have item checkboxes. This is nice when you want to select multiple files. So this provides a checkbox to the left of all the file names and it allows me to randomly select specific files for the purpose of deleting them or 
Maybe I want to copy and paste them into another folder. Back to show, you're going to notice that file name extensions is already checked. This is nice because it shows me the file type in the file name. So the .jpg, this is a JPEG image. You might also have a Word document, which would be .docx, letting you know what that file extension is. If you don't like seeing the file extensions, simply click File Name Extensions to hide those. All right, and then the last thing we have in here is hidden items. Now, this will show hidden files that are on your computer. However, I do not recommend turning this on because the critical thing about these hidden files is that they normally have to do with the system files of the computer, which are required. If you delete those files, for example, because you don't know what they are, then your computer may not function properly. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and just keep the hidden items hidden. Okay, so that is how you can customize the views in your file explorer. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, let me know. If you want to learn something specific, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.